I think we are around three months or so living in the house, probably less. I think we moved here end of July or someone like that. I haven't done like an updated video on the house. When we started looking for a house, I wanted a fireplace and a island and a big master bedroom. I got the big master bedroom, but there was no fireplace and no island, which I mean, what could you do? You know, you can't have it all, but I could. Um, so right behind me right here is the island that I ended up picking up from Offer Up for $20. This one was already taken off um, apart and it was $20 and the black granite, which I'm gonna show you guys, um, is on the ground. So I am going to sand these and the hardware is gonna be black. It was already um, apart and all that. And I mean, if we need to sand it, we have paint here and honestly paint, you know, it's not really that expensive for us. So we could definitely get that. So now we have an island. So the good thing about this is that the granite is black with gray tones on it and it's extremely heavy and then here is a closer look uh, of the cabinets now these cabinets are you know ordinary cabinets there's three cabinets one two and the third one is right there there's three of them that you have to you know stick together or whatnot and then at the edge there's these poles right here which i'm planning to paint black so the whole cabinets will be white like I said, and then these poles right here will be black, but I'm not sure if that will look good. I have to look through Pinterest and see if that will work. But yeah, I'm just so excited that we have an island. So let's just go ahead and go through here and show you guys what we have been doing. All right, so a few days ago, I was trying to explain to you guys what this wall was gonna be, but I wasn't really feeling it. But I have my trusty coffee. Later on, when the sun goes down, I'm gonna start working on this wall right here. It's gonna be, this wall is between the boys' room and here is my inspo pick so you guys could take a little look-see on what I have in mind. That's what I have in mind for right now. It could change. And then let me show you what I have for the master bathroom. Um, the painting here is going to go back here. Um, it's just going to stay like that. I feel like this area is so big right here. Uh, there's not a lot much I can do. For the master bath, my mom ended up getting me these two um, shelves. I have this space right here. And I'm going to put the two shelves here. And I'm going to show you guys the inspo pick. And then we're going to take off this door right here. And, you know, make it just a perfect square because you can't really close the door you have to like literally stand up beside the toilet and then close it so it's not anyway i want to put little thin shelves here and that would be the bathroom the master and like i consider this one a master because it's like the second biggest room but so far i'm in love with how this area looks so far this area is 100 percent done um but but if you guys see here's a laundry room here's that extra space and then if i give you the 360 and then here's we're back to this wall i feel like i'm going to put the rug that i have downstairs here because that one is going to be completely brown if i don't take it in the entryway where you enter through the door so let me show you how that looks the stairs are not going to be done until november because that's when they're going to come but here's the rug if you guys remember this is the black and white striped bathroom I remember this was white and gray so i'm gonna put it upstairs and see how that goes um and then probably get a black rug here but i don't want it to bounce too much you know what i mean and then and the last part of the little diy this office area is underneath the stairs originally this is where the tv goes but this is where i you know work and i had to sit up and start like moving around because i couldn't feel my legs afterwards but this is the last project that I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a plant that overhangs here and have a gold and a black white aesthetic. My This, this uh, first part of the living room is black and white and gray. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, so far I have a white plant here. And then over here I have a little bit of fall stuff. Not really much going on. I don't have a lot of things to fill this big ass house. So whoops bear with me before i go back to work here is the living room honestly this one never gets used it's so rare whoever sits over here um usually it's the living room that's over there but it's this one that really never gets used which i don't know i i swear to god i thought this one was, was <laughs> i thought this one was gonna get used more but anyway i knew i need to depot that 
um plant here and then move that plant here because i guess it needs a lot of sun so i feel like it's dying a little bit but yeah here's like a little bit of the fall decor that i have um of course i want more pink in here later on uh probably next year in the beginning of next year um we're gonna start changing up the cabinets and then have hopefully an island here but yeah so far that's the whole 411 on the whole thing oh my god i'm so out of breath what the fuck like the last biggest project inside the house is you want to go side tiki is having an island and painting whoops and painting um the whole kitchen um for outside i just need to put grass here and in the front yard but that's you know when it's not summer no more i wanted to show you guys real quick how the downstairs bathroom looks you guys could see it had like a lot of multi-color but i think it came out good what do you guys think Stay tuned for a much later video of an updated bathroom because we ended up adding a new light fixture and a new vanity and it really brings up the look. Can you explain to the people what you are doing? So right now you're taking up the hardware? Yes, but it's hard because it's not put on right. What do you mean? Uh, don't get too close to the camera because you know yikes so he sanded this large piece of wood to see if he got the right sander which i keep telling him he did so this is how it's gonna look right babe I got the right, I know I got the right babe is this how it's the the wood's gonna be looking like so it's nice and smooth Showtime. Really? Mm hmm. Damn, they don't want to see it, huh? I do. You could just get Showtime by itself. <laughs> you have like three hours working in the same cabinet? <laughs> what? I had to go get safety protection. Here are the um, two paints that we're using. I think one's a primer, um, but it has to say cabinet and trim, so it could be like glossy or whatever. Go over there, tic-tac. 